Over the last few months, I've been working on a video viewer for the labs in the JQT environment. This example uses the introduction to JLabs as a framework for the videos. Initially, the video window is minimized in the upper left corner. The text warns to check your audio levels and gives procedures for selecting different labs or advance the lab should you want to continue. We'll advance the lab. A lab is a series of sections. A section starts with comments, optionally followed by J sentences which are automatically executed in the J session. J labs explain concepts while encouraging experimentation through J's interactive environment. Let's review some controls for this video window. The volume slider sets the audio level. The play pause button starts and stops the video while the slider skips forward or back. The replay button restarts the video. The script button reveals the video script and allows search on selected terms using the help button. Specific J topics access NuVoc, while general questions go to Google. Personal notes are available through the notes button, but remember to save. In the upper left, the Minimize button pauses video and shrinks the window. The Show button expands the window, restarting the video. You can advance the lab at any time, but when the video ends, it collapses automatically, leaving you in the J Interactive environment. You can advance the lab when you are ready. Clicking on any line and hitting return will move that line to the bottom of the page ready to be executed. Changes allow you to quickly try out your ideas. These labs encourage experimentation because playing with J is one of the fastest ways to learn language. Labs also generate forms beyond the J terminal environment, such as the video you're watching. If the J terminal has focus, it will execute J sentences while the video runs, allowing you to test as you watch. Clicking on a form gives it focus, making it responsive to text entry, button presses, keyboard shortcuts, and tooltips. Forms can be closed by clicking on the red button in the upper left corner. The horizontal line at the top of the section indicates both the beginning of the section and the width required to display text properly. Too narrow a window and important information could be hidden off screen. You may have noticed the drop down list that displays the current section in the video form. Previous sections can be selected to review information and provide access to notes and scripts. Advancing the lab takes you to the next new section and updates the section drop-down list. Sections always advance in the same order. If the lab has more than one chapter, there is a chapters drop-down list above the sections drop-down list. Chapters are made up of sections and are accessible in any order you wish. Clicking on a chapter in the drop-down list takes you straight to the selected chapter without having to go through preceding chapters. Text versions of labs use the Help Studio Chapters menu to provide direct access to chapters. There is no specific way to end a lab in J. Because the interactive terminal environment is always available, you just continue on playing with J. Now. Go open up that Help Studio Labs menu and try out some of those labs.